it's four games left, two of them against Houston. They're a very, very dangerous team. So, um, you know, it doesn't doesn't get any any easier. You know, this league, anything can happen. They're very explosive offensively. Um, but I think, you know, if we can kind of dictate uh, dictate the tempo of the game, maintain possession, and be smart with possession, um, we're going to get our opportunities. And, you know, it's just a matter of converting them. How nice was it getting back in the win column, especially in such a – emphatic fashion yeah it was it was much needed um you know this league can be about making runs and then winless streaks winning streaks winless streaks so um you know it was we had two games that didn't go our way but you know we regrouped and like you said it was great to get back uh in the win column with the fashion that we did now that you've had a you know kind of a chance to be here for a full year plus mm -hmm. and, and you think back on your time in houston what would you say are the key differences about how this club feels compared to the Dynamo? Yeah, um, you know, that's it's definitely hard to answer just with how the league has evolved since, like, my first few years in the league to now. Um, but, you know, first thing that comes to mind here is just, like, all the sports science stuff and the data that goes along with the, with the training and um, prepping to the game and all the lead-up to make sure you're physically ready. Um, whereas my first few years in Houston, Dom ran it. He was very old school. He was like, uh, how you feel? You better feel good for the game. <laughs> so so um, here the, it's more analytical. Um, and, you know, you know, it's it's good and bad because sometimes they, they tell you, oh, you can't do extra because you've had a hard workload when you feel like you can. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're looking out for your best interest, which is why I think we're, for the most part, relatively healthy right now and guys are feeling good. As a fellow striker, when you watch Rui Diaz play, what are the things that stand out about his skill set and what makes him so effective? Yeah, he's great in the box. You know, if you watch him, his movement in the box, he's always looking to score. He's one of those guys that uh, he always wants to score. He comes alive when, when the ball gets in the final third. So, you know, I, just from, um, you know, training with him and playing with him so far, I'm kind of just trying to watch his, his movements. And, um, you know, he always ends up in good spots. And he's he's a very good finisher, and he hits it with authority too. So, um, you know, I, I'd say that's probably a very good part of his game. What's it like playing for a club like Seattle, where the culture of expectation is so high? You know, never never fail to make the playoffs, a bunch of trophies over the years. Just. Do you feel that that liberates your game, or does it sometimes feel like an added weight on your shoulders? I love it personally. I think, um, you know, if you let losing or, you know, not making the playoffs become acceptable, then you can kind of fall into a trap of, oh, it's all right, next year, next year. And the fact that it's not okay and the fact that we don't accept it kind of, we're kind of right in the way this club is. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a great mentality to have, and I think it's um, a winning mentality, and it's something that, you know, still early early in the, the history of this club, but it's off to a great start.